Hey guys, it's Miriam Florio, and today we're going to be adding a new, an entity to the global search functionality inside of Dynamics 365. So when you're searching inside of Dynamics 365, you might wonder what the system is actually searching. So I'm logged in right now and I'm going to click on the global search in the upper right hand corner of the screen. And as you can see here, if I search for information, it brings back results within different entities. Now, out of the box, CRM doesn't search all entities. However, you can modify the search capability by adding an entity to the search. For example, I want to search for orders with the order number on them. And I actually have an order in the system, 123456, called ORD123456. Then if I hit enter, it actually won't find any results. And the reason behind that is the orders entity has not been added to the global search capabilities. So what we'll be doing today is adding that entity to the global search. And I know that order exists. I can pull it up right now. And as you can see, there is the order name, and that's what I want to search by. So let's go to the back end of the system. I'm going to go to settings and then uh, administration and then system settings. And on this first general tab, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see select entities for categorized search. Now that is the global search. We'll go, go ahead and click select. And as you can see, the available entities are on the left. This is true for custom entities. If you add any custom entities to the system, you can follow these instructions in order to add that entity to your search capabilities. So I'll select order and then click add and make sure it moves over to selected entities and then click OK. And now that I've updated the system settings, I simply want to click OK. So now that I've updated the entity and added that to the global search, the next step would be to look at the fields that are included in that entity. So I'm going to go into settings and then customizations and then customize the system in order to add the fields or specify the fields that are being searched within the entity that we've, that we've added to that global search. So I'm going to go to entities and then scroll all the way down to orders. And we're going to select the view. So you want to highlight view on the left pane of the screen. Okay, so once you've expanded views, you're going to select the quick find view. And the columns that are shown here are actually the fields that get searched when looking inside of that entity that we've added to the global search. So let's add some additional fields here. So add find columns. And we're going to find our order name. So we'll make sure that's there. And you can always add in more. So we can do the order number, order ID, and any other fields that you really need to search by. So we'll just take a quick look here, see if there's anything else that looks interesting. If that's all you want to add and search by, that's good. Simply want to save and close. and then publish. Okay, so now that it's published, let's go out into the world of CRM and we're gonna do another search here. So I'm gonna click the magnifying glass and put in that order number or name that we gave it and see how searchable that field is. Voila, so now that we've put this value into the search, it's actually returning orders, which it wasn't before. Now that we've added the orders entity, it's also searching on the field that we wanted to make searchable. Hopefully this was helpful. Join me next time for more information on Dynamics 365.